Disciple friends, this is Mitty Man coming at you again from Walker's Music. We had another word for the day. Give God glory, give Him the praise. We thank Him for life, health, and strength as well as it is, people. Like I always say, we may not have all that we want, but we have all we need. And we give God the glory and the thanks for that. We also give Him the thanks and a big shout out to the YouTube fam, Baby Justice, all the way up to Big Papa JT, well as Mama JT. Y'all already know the routine. We going to say that uh, we count a blessing and, and an honor and a privilege to be able to come before you and do these here little videos. And, and like I said, not for any glory of that middle man is seeking, but that the word of God be proclaimed. In other words, this reading and the study of God's word helps you and it helps me. And uh, actually, it just keeps us on our toes spiritually. And uh, no, no, nothing for nobody to brag about or boast, but you do what you can do and I do what I can do and we'll cut the deck. A lot of things, people, that we, we do is really a lot, of, a lot of things that we do or have done in the past to a degree all come from most of the things of tradition, traditions of the Bible. Uh, matter of fact, uh, today is 6 o'clock, you know, started the Jewish Sabbath. Most of the Jewish people all over the world attend synagogue on this night. And uh, you know, the Jewish Sabbath always starts at sundown on Friday, 6 o'clock that evening. And it lasts until 6 o'clock that Saturday evening. And uh, that's uh, their Sabbath. And uh, that's what time they do. They worship at the synagogue and, and whatnot. And if you look at our Western world, and we got a lot of this stuff, I mean, at first, let's just say 40, 50 years ago, if you look at our work week, uh, pe uh, people did not, some of them did not really know that Sunday was the first day of the week. They, they considered Sunday as being a little weekend, but you know when you learn better, you do better. And Sunday being the first day of the week, but most of them started uh, their week on Monday. And if you notice that the people, I'm, I'm just saying they like 40, 50 years ago, people will work from Monday through Friday, and, 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 and they get off on Friday evening, and that was it until, you know, whenever. All that was built, they didn't, I don't know whether they knew it or not, but that was basically based around that Jewish Sabbath. They get off on Friday, and, and you know, and they had their time, they called the weekend, they did, and they rested and relaxed and did what they wanted to do. But in actuality, that's the Jewish Sabbath that we call it. It started beginning on Friday evening, 6 o'clock. In other words, they've been in it now for about three hours and seven minutes, you know, uh, the Jewish Sabbath. <clears throat> but anyway, I want to read a couple of scriptures here. You know, there's so much jealousy, people, and envy in the body of Christ until it's not funny. And it need not be that way, people, but nevertheless, we know it is there. And, uh... I wish it wasn't, and I wish it was. I wish it wasn't, and I wish the people just get a grip on it about all that big eye, little you, you know, and all that stuff don't really matter. But at any rate, let's read something right quick. Matthew 26, starting in verse one. And it came to pass when Jesus had finished all these sayings, he said unto his disciples, "Ye know that after two days is the feast of the Passover." And the Son of Man is betrayed to the, be crucified. Then assembled together the chief priests and the scribes and the elders and the people unto the palace of the high priest who, named, who was called Caiaphas. And consulted that they might take Jesus by subtility and kill him. Well, to those that may not know what subtility means, that means trickery. Trickery. But they said not on the feast days lest there be an uproar among the people. Now when Jesus was in, the, in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leper, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box of very precious ointment, poured it on his head, and he, as he sat at meat, costly fragrant oil, people. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is this waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why ye trouble? Why trouble ye this woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. 
For you have the poor always with you, but me you have not always. For in for in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she had she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this that this woman had done be told for a memorial of her. And if you look at that verse 14, right after that, Judas, one of the twelve, called Iscariot, went unto the chief priests and said unto them, What will you give me? And I will deliver him unto you. And they consented with him for thirty pieces of silver. Thirty pieces of silver. And from that time he sought opportunity to betray him. And God had a blessing to the readers, hearers, and the doers of his holy word. That is jealousy, jealousy, envy. The disciples, the one that he, Jesus, had taught, walked with for three and a half years now. They had indignation. People that's not nothing strange. People will do it to you to this very day. The people that you that all you think that ought to understand and know you be the main one to stab you in your back. Jesus told them ways. Now, now, first of all, people, anything that you use for the sake of Jesus, that's never a waste. That's number one. Whatever you do for, for Christ, that's never a waste. Now, it said in this scripture, the disciples. It didn't, it didn't say one. It said the disciples. And I, I, I looked at that again. You know, at, 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 one time, at, at one time in my life, I thought that it would probably help only Judas Iscariot because, you know, he was a treasurer. He the one who carried the money bag. And I thought maybe it was only him that had indignation with Jesus and was jealous and envious of Jesus, what the woman did to him with that alabaster box of ointment. But when I read, I reread the scripture and you see it said his disciples saw it. So it was more than Judas that we got jealous of that. It was more than Judas. So, you know, we got to apologize to Brother Judas for that singling him out because it said the disciples. That was plural, meaning it was more than one. But at any rate, we see here that what jealousy and envy, and I got to hurry up and get through with this video again too long. What envy and jealousy will do to a ministry, will do to an individual. See, they got indignant and, 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 and upset because the woman showed all this favor toward Jesus. Ain't that so? Lord, people getting jealous of Jesus. So now you know if they got jealous of Jesus, what are they going to do for you and myself? But at any rate, when they went to try to ridicule the woman, Jesus stood up for the woman and said, leave her alone. Say, I'm going to tell you something else. Said, now, not only did I tell you to leave her alone, he said, but whatever this gospel is preached, this what this woman have done going to be spoken of also as a memorial to her. See, in other words, by that woman, now, whatever kind of woman she was, we know she was a sinful woman because they said they had indignation for her. I ain't no telling what she might have been a woman of the street. But no, one thing about it, she did recognize Jesus. Well, whatever she was, she recognized Jesus. They didn't do nothing for him. He was sitting at their table. None of them, they, they just ordinary Jesus. They didn't even sit, they didn't even greet him. All the people there, they didn't even greet. They didn't realize what they had with them. But this woman did. She recognized Jesus for who he was. And she broke that alabaster box. She didn't, she didn't open it. She broke it. Going to use it all on Jesus. In other words, people, we, 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 we try to pin and pinch when it comes to Jesus. Talking about a ways. What you mean a ways? It's never a ways when you use yourself for the kingdom of God. But at any rate, this is what that green-eyed monster called jealousy will do to an individual. But I'm gonna got some I got some good I got some bad news for all you people like that that jealous and that jealous and envy of other people. Because other people got some gifts and talents that they use them for the kingdom of God. Which you could be doing the same thing and you stop looking at what I do and trying to mock me or I stop looking at what you do and trying to outdo you. Just everybody just do what you do. 
and stop worrying about how much somebody else doing. This woman did a good work for Christ because of the fact that she was not, she, she looked beyond what the people were thinking about her. They were talking about her. I'm quite sure she had to walk through that crowd and probably was the only woman there. And she had to walk through all the men and they were there talking down on everything. But she did not let that stop her from worshiping our Savior. What about us? That says a lot about us. We'll let just any little old bit of mean my new thing keep us away and keep us from praising and serving our God. That's not so this woman. And so by that woman act of worship, pure worship, her name now, everywhere, Jesus said the gospel to preach, that must be spoken of about what she done as a memorial to her. That's what the, that's what the scripture say. So you see, if you just use what God has given you and do what do your little old bit of duty, you may think it's little, but in God's sight it's much. And you never know what your duty and what your call is on your life, whatever it is, whatever that is God got you to do. If you do it in simplicity of heart and humbleness, you never know. You may be doing it as a memorial for yourself. You don't even know it. But if the thing about it, if we stop worrying about what many man think and worrying about getting praise for many man and worry about trying to outdo that one over there and you stop worrying about trying to outdo and outshine that one over yonder and outshine it, if we stop all that mess, we might just be some use for God. This is Midi Man saying peace. Goodbye.